Monday was the deadline for Mali's new military government to appoint a civilian head to the transition government. The 15-nation Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, has warned the military government that it must return the country to civilian rule by today. After the August 18 coup, ECOWAS imposed sanctions on the country, closing borders and banning trade, and called on the military government to hold elections within 12 months. The military government has proposed an 18-month transition government to be led by either a civilian or military leader. The plan has been rejected by the opposition June 5 movement, M5RFP, which calls the proposal anti-democratic and intimidating. Joining us now is uh, T. Diani Togola, CEO to Windy. Also joining us is international affairs expert Paul Ejime. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us on the breakfast this morning. I will start with you, um, Mr. Ejime. What is your take on the charter produced by the junta for the transition, saying the interim leader can either be a military or a civilian person? Well, thank you, Felicity. Um, actually, the deadline is today, Tuesday, the 15th of uh, September, yes. that ECO has given them. Well, the charter, I think um, the military is, from what they have read, is trying to protect itself, um, enlighten self-interest, if you like, because they wouldn't like um, maybe for civilians now to run the show. They want a, a piece of the pie to be part of... Um, uh, uh, the transition government. I think that is why they left that window that uh, the head could be could either be a civilian or military. I think that is what um, they are doing. But um, in doing so, they have um, incurred the wrath of um, the um, June 5 um, uh, movement who um, think that um, uh, it should be all civilian and perhaps that they should have um, a greater say in it, being the ones that actually led the the protests that um, uh, uh, actually culminate, culminated in the in the um, uh, Oscar of the position of um, uh, President uh, Keita. I think that is where the, the disagreement lies. Uh, the other thing is that they are now asking for the charter talks about 18 months uh, instead of uh, the original um, uh, uh, three years or two years or the um, 12 months that ECOWAS um, has um, uh, asked for. So there's still a lot of ground to be covered, and that is what um, uh, I had um, warned against in previous um, interventions, that um, there needs to be some, you know, uh, structured engagement of uh, stakeholders on the ground to make sure that everybody is on the same page. Uh, it's not un unlikely. This kind of disagreement is uh, welcome uh, to make sure that everybody gets on the board, makes tell the military that they, they, they don't, you know, they belong to the barracks. They should do whatever it is they are doing uh, to go back to the barrack. But it remains to be seen whether they can really uh, let go and allow an all civilian um, uh, as transition government. I think that is where that is the sticking point. Um, uh, let's uh, that bring requires, Mr. Uh, cracking. Uh, we see how that goes and whether they will also be able to meet the deadline that ECOWAS has given them today. Um, okay. Those are the, 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 the tension is high. Uh, it remains, they rem Mali remains on the tenterhooks, uh, but um, it, it, the, the, the um, prayer and the expectation is that everybody will come on board and see the reason for, um, you know, a return to constitutional um, order. All right, uh, Mr. Togola, what, what is your thinking on this? Are you sharing the same sentiment with Mr. Ejibe? Um, you know, the... The deadline is today, this is clear, but uh, as I used to say, the coup d'etat uh, comes from a deep, uh, you know, a deep bad governance situation and also a, a very deep, um, you know, crisis, confidence crisis between different political actors who actually failed to, to, to succeed in terms of finding a solution uh, through dialogue. So this is what, that's why we are in this coup d'etat, and also we can add to that the 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 the, the feeling that the ECOWAS used to give Malians at the old beginning, for example, giving the Malian that the feeling that they are here to 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 support the president Ibeka. So this is something that's really very important. Those three elements is important to understand the, the over part for the specific deadline. For example, initially. Um, the, 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 the military said they want three years, that's true. But uh, now we are in, 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 um, 
in eight, in 18 months and this 18 months is something that comes from the different stakeholders that time the point where people refuse to be together is not regarding the delay the the, the duration it's more about uh you know it's more about the 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 roadmap and also it's more about um who is going to lead this transition so this is the question and for now according to me the most the most important thing is not about who will be leading the country civilian or, or military in the specific case where mali is now what what the most important thing is actually uh, this uh, roadmap and the roadmap that they agree on is 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 like too big for me because a, a transition is not supposed to fix everything a transition is just supposed for our specific case the transition is supposed to define the, the 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 constitutional reform and the security issues and for the over aspect of this we can we can we can find a way to 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 do it after the 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 the, 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 the transition and right. from my my opinion the transition should be led by a civilian not by a military and i think um ECOWAS today will try to to keep this position with the military because they, they are they are now right now at, uh, at in, in in ghana and i'm sure that the ECOWAS leaders will try to to keep this position all right let's go back to you uh, mr Ijume. Um, he is in support of civilian rule but do you think that uh, the military will bow to the pressure from the international communities, especially from ECOWAS? Well, I think that is what negotiation is about, um, or mediation. It's about uh, give and take, and not uh, being rigid. I think um, if... Um, the, the fears of the military, one can understand, is that if they left... Remember that they just deposed a civilian administration for bad governance and all that. It's not that the military is a saint. It's not that they have done better than the civilians in, um, in places where they have taken power. But here, they are saying, they, they feel that if they left the whole thing in the, civilian, in the hands of the civilians, it could also, the, the tendency or the propensity to go back to um, uh, zero, uh, ground zero is, uh, is higher than if um, uh, they, they, somebody, they have their own uh, military person out there trying to uh, guide, to, to pilot and midwife the, the transition. I think that is where the, that is the sticking point that they need to uh, resolve. They, they have to go to convince them that um, they can stay on the sideline, keep uh, uh, defense and security, but allow civilians to make mistakes and also uh, correct themselves instead of always rushing to correct things and then end up um, almost, um, you know, uh, uh, doing worse than the civilians that they, that they replaced. So that is um, one um, issue that not just in Mali, uh, it has happened in other places where military has taken power and will continue to remain um, an issue. Uh, in the case of Mali, I think um, while ECOWAS will be bringing the pressure, it's like a press of pot. You do not uh, exert the kind of pressure that will break the pot and neither will you uh, uh, remove your, your legs off the pedal. So uh, it requires um, some uh, delicate balancing. Okay. And I think um, either a, pre a, pre a civilian president with um, a, a deputy that is military, uh, perhaps that can work. And then, um, uh, you know, while uh, they go ahead, they have also talked about a 121-member uh, legislature where the M5 members will, will naturally dominate those who will be guiding and providing some legal, uh, 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 you know, guidance. So those are the, the perhaps the, um, the safety nets that can be uh, uh, employed uh, under the watchful eyes of ECOWAS and uh, the international community. All right, uh, uh, Mr. Ajima. Should, um, vigilance is required. Um, my, 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 my strong takeaway from you is the need for compromise in making a decision to move the country forward. Um, I'll move on straight to you, uh, Mr. Togola. Any reason to doubt military intervention, or should we call it interruption now, based on the brick wall uh, by some sections of the populace? 
Sorry, so can you repeat, please? I didn't, uh, I, I don't, I didn't, I don't get you correctly. Okay, you I, I'm asking. Uh, do you have any concerns about the military intervention, um, or do we call it maybe an interruption based on you know the position uh, taken uh, by some section of the uh, citizens? You know, this is <laughs> this is not a simple intervention. The, the, I mean, interruption. This is a coup d'état. This is a. This is a coup d'état. And um, me personally, for if we take the, the situation right now in Mali, uh, people generally are more confident uh, in uh, military than in, uh, you know, than in civilian. This is something that's, that is clear. But um, we cannot also say that in whole Mali, there is no civilian who is enough, uh, you know, enough serious, enough credible to be able to to conduct the, 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 this, um, this transition. In addition to that, the way the, the chapter is designed, is, is, is elaborate, in the, is, uh, the, I mean, the chapter is elaborate in a way where the military uh, are the one who elected, you know, who nominated everybody, uh, almost everybody. So these are some specific things that really can break the, 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 the relation between military and civilian. So that's why, uh, me honestly, I think um, even if military come, they will probably be for for this for this moment probably be uh, actor who who will playing an important role. But for me, uh, as democrat, we need uh, a civilian and military. We, it, this doesn't mean to say to say to military go back to your barrack. No, but it means. They should they 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 have another role to play. They, we can play together this role of uh, coming back very quickly to a, a, you know to a, a rule of law. But uh, a, this uh, you know this journey going back to the rule of law need to be led by a, 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 civilian. a, a civilian. Okay. With the partner in, in with civil, uh, with military. I, I'll come back to you again, Mr. Jimmy. The, the, the junta at some point they were welcomed with wild jubilation, um, especially after the removal of uh, the former president. Um, have they now outlived their relevance? Because there doesn't seem to be much welcome from the people uh, for their continued stay. Hello. Mr. Jimé, the question is for you. Okay. Um, well, that is usually what happens, that uh, when you are riding a tiger, uh, two things can happen. Either you end up uh, in his stomach or you, you, you fight for their life and then you escape. So it is always a delicate thing to... Of course, it is uh, the issue of um, um, uh, Hosanna today and crucify him uh, tomorrow uh, from experience. But that is not to say that um, the military is irrelevant. I think they have played, they, they, they gave the, 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 the civilians, the Malians, what they couldn't get on the uh, negotiation. Remember that ECOWAS had gone there and everybody had done anything and they were pouring out on the streets led by M5. Um, but asking for uh, President uh, Keita to resign, he didn't. He took the military intervention to do that. So. Military is now using that bait, using that um, uh, power to say, "Well, we um, actually um, gave you what what you what you've been asking for, and so we should also play a part." But that should be defined and not make it um, to the fact. No, the military does not have um, uh, a place in under democracy. That is obvious. That is clear. But this one has become inevitable, and that is because uh, governance had failed. And that is what uh, politicians everywhere must watch out for. It's not enough to say that military is an aberration and then they don't belong there. But then you present the, the environment that makes it uh, possible for them to come in. It's an enabler. Don't present that enabler for them to come in and then begin to complain. Run a democracy the way it should be run. But, so but if, if, we're looking, if we're looking at it, if the military, as, if, uh, if the reason, of, uh, Mr. Ejima, if the military, if their primary concern is to restore normalcy to the country, they've been able to get um, a step in, um, a foot in the door. Wouldn't it be, I mean, normal for them to just retrieve now that and hand over without, uh, without uh, fuzzing over the matter to a civilian administration? 
Is that for me too? Yes, yes. I'm staying with you. It's off what you just said. Okay, yeah. The point is um, the, 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 the tendency to, to move back, you know, the gains will be lost if you suddenly ask um, those who didn't manage. Because look at uh, what uh, Tijani was saying, that uh, who, who is the civilian now that can you can entrust uh, uh, the responsibility of running the, um, the transition? of bringing normalcy. There is insecurity. There is, uh, you know, poverty. There is unemployment. In fact, Mali is uh, uh, in, under tension. A lot of uh, tension happening that um, requires uh, stakeholders' engagement to be able, one person cannot do it. Military itself cannot do it. The civilians have failed. And so everybody now has to come together. Um, rushing the military out, um, I meet with them, there's a tendency that they will now go back to where we started. All and right. that is not what we want uh, Mali to be. That is not what the region is expecting. And that is why everybody is concerned now to make sure that uh, they get it right. I would certainly hope that they would. But for further clarity, Mr. Togola, what exactly is the opposition M5 RFP asking, uh, asking for? Uh, I'll, that same question uh, for the ousted party. What are they asking? You no, know, the the first thing is for them uh, the conclusion of uh, of the co the consultation. You know, the three day consultation are different from uh, what have been decided for them. Um, the the way of uh, you know the way of uh, designation of who, those who will be leading is 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 a problem for them also. So I mean, for them, if we if we have to resume. Um, you know, we have to re summarize. They just think that this um, chapter is different from what they they agree with uh, to, together during the during during the the, the 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 consultation. So this is something that we used to see to see with the with the M5 movement in general. If anything that that don't come from them uh, in general is is bad. For them, so this is a, a very complicated issue. Actually, even before the, the, the you know before the before the coup d'état, the M5 really has a, it was very challenging to 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 engage any kind of dialogue uh, with M5 because the position was like very radicalized, and now they just uh, want a military military to 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 go back to the barrack. They want. Uh, a civilian and a prime minister like civilian so they want many different things and they said all those things were already uh, agreed by the different participants unfortunately what we've seen from um, from the consultation this was not uh, exactly what 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 people are saying because for m5 they are the people anything that don't come from that don't come from th them is not from the people is from other people even if they are malian um, so right. this is uh, unfortunate <laughs> Yeah, quite unfortunate, really. We'll certainly be coming back to you uh, both uh, in the course of, uh, I mean, the week as things develop uh, in Mali. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Tidiani Togola and Mr. Paul Ejime for joining us on The Breakfast. Thank you. Thank you for having us.